What's up guys, Matco Michaels here, as you can tell by the truck. So today, find out what's going on with these double top secret pliers. You guys, y'all need to get in on this. Uh-oh, the boss lady's back. He must not have sold enough this week. <laughs> Uh-oh. We're gonna have to get him. That's always the census when she's here. <laughs> sort of like a little kid if he'd have got up and done his homework and stuff, you wouldn't have to come babysit today, would you? I know, I'd have had a Friday off. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna talk about the new tool this week. Uh, is the the die grinders okay so we got straight and angle uh, they're 0.85 horsepower which most of the ones that i've seen sell were the three quarter and the one horse so it's it's kind of cool to see one in between there it's a, a new option i've actually got two already open and they're colored and the color, <laughs> yeah. So that's we talk about color all the time. It's got the eagle there and everything. Um, it's actually got one of the big selling features is it has the wrench sizes that you need. So there's no more questioning what size was that. Um, of course, it's got a dial, low and high, so you don't have to go full mm -hmm. all the time. But overall, just a good. It's got a good weight to it. Got a, feels good in your hand. Was it a rubberized grip too? Uh, kind of like a. Uh, I guess like our impacts. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not really rubber, but it's a plastic and it just feels good. The only thing that worries me about rubber is, uh, which this ain't rubber, but most of the time when you see a rubber on like an impact or something, it gets wore off and it yeah. starts peeling off. So I like the plastic idea better. So it, A, it keeps it cooler. Uh, really, I, I guess you could say cooler, but uh, I guess warmer too. You know how when the air starts going through it yeah, on the it gets ones. Cold. Yeah. yeah, so this will protect against that too, so. But overall, good tool. I like that it's not super huge because we have this one here, and to me, that's just a little big. So, of course, this one's, I think, one horse or something mm -hmm. like that, but uh, you've got this one here compared to this one. The size is just yeah, incredibly like different. Smaller so, size is a lot better. Uh, which it's got low and high too, but I like I like the size comparison. I can get this one in a lot tighter spots than mm -hmm. I can this one. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty positive this is a one horse type of in to see if it'll tell you what size it is. Yeah, those are nice looking grinders. Well, and I like the fact that they've got the wrench sizes right on them. Uh, I know that doesn't seem yeah, that's a one horse. So, I mean, you're almost right there at it. I don't know if you can get any closer and make sense, but mm -hmm. you're almost right there at it. And you don't, I mean, look how much size difference you are. So yeah. I like this one a whole lot better. But <clears throat> Yeah, that is pretty neat that they write that on there because it's so. always a pain to remember which one to use. Yeah, well, and... I mean, it seems like they're all different sizes too. Right, you know? and what ends up happening is you end up just taking the tool back to your box after a couple of times of walking, <laughs> yeah. getting it, and, uh, and finding it. Which uh, they come with their little bitty wrenches in there, flat ones. But I don't know how many times people just throw these in the garbage right away. Like I, or like me, you'll throw them in the air tool drawer, and you won't remember which one goes with which which one air tool, and there's. Well, I like say they're real close in size. I guess that was me. I never kept up with the ones that come with it. I own a lot of air tools, but I never kept up with the one that come with it. I yeah. always just grabbed the wrenches out of my drawer, and I would probably grab the wrong one twice. But uh, so the die grinders are new. Uh, we got a couple more new things coming out. So as soon as they come out, we'll grab them. What's the prices on those grinders? Uh. I'll let her type it in and, and see. Looks like on the straight, it runs around 230, and the uh, uh, angled, it runs around 257. Okay. Uh, I would say to, to definitely get with your dealer on these, though, because uh, they may have a good sale going on right now with them. They may not. They may. Mm -hmm. um, 
we bought several of them so that we could have a sale on them. Uh, if they did the same, then they may have a sale on them. Right. If they didn't buy a whole lot of them, they may not have the sale. But we just got out of a, a sales meeting Saturday, so that was part of the sales meeting product. Uh, have we talked about the cordless soldering iron? I think we did. Maybe. Do you remember, remember. it? It's back there too. Um, <clears throat> one of the things I wanted to ask you, I know it's getting close to Christmas time. And there was one guy talking about wanting to get a. Remember when you show those custom Oakley glasses that time that the guy ordered with the, you know, the certain color lens yeah, and, yeah. and all that. What's kind of the cutoff on that? You think before getting them for Christmas? How long did it take us to get them in? Oakley, depending on if they're in stock items, can like go up to a week. But if you get like expedited shipping. Okay. Yeah, the the main thing there is to go to to get the dealer to go to the Oakley and, and find out because if they don't have it in stock, then it could it it may not be before Christmas. But yeah. the one we did, they had them in stock, and we had them in a week's time. So actually, okay. faster than what we thought because we. Yeah, we thought it was going to take a little while. Another thing that I wanted to bring up is we talked about this last yes. week. We also have this one here, and I actually had it on the truck and forgot all about it. So if you're wanting, like we was talking about the cutoff disc, mm -hmm. uh, of course this can be used as a cutoff disc, but, uh, which it basically is, but this one here is about the same size as that one, so it's a little yeah. bit more beefier. Uh, it comes with the deal to make it uh, the, so just like those, so uh, that's something else that if they're interested i know i saw a lot of people commenting how good these was mm -hmm. how they were worth their weight in gold give this one a try too if you do a whole lot of cutting um and that way it'll allow you to to have that different aspect which whereas this one's a two inch this one's a three inch mm -hmm. so it, it's a little bigger too so it says it extends life by two thousand percent so that's a lot that's a lot like <laughs> that's a lot. i don't know i don't know how they come up with that but uh it uh, that's a lot they're both 30,000 RPM max, uh, so I would say that you could use both of them for, and they're both 36 grit. So it's really mm -hmm. just whichever one that you basically like or want. Right. Um, diamond lasts 20% longer and cuts faster with lower odor and debris. So anybody that's did a whole lot of cutting with those mm -hmm. knows how your arm smells after the <laughs> yeah. all that stuff hits your arm. <laughs> so it's, that, it's that black dust that yeah. slings all over you, you know, when yep. you're cutting metal. That yeah. stuff is rough to get off too. Yeah, well, and so definitely give that a try. There's the rest of my meat and product. Uh, we've got the cordless uh, soldering irons. If I haven't talked about those, they're pretty cool. Eight seconds, it goes from cold to 1100 degrees. So that's pretty that's awesome. Um, it's also got, somebody's gonna want the part number. There's the part it's number there. Or uh, it's also got some deals for the uh, heat shrink in there, so you don't you don't you can actually change it because it's the way the plastic works on the bottom. It's a quick change style. You can actually solder your wires, take your hand and put it on the plastic, undo it, hook the solder on there, and just keep Holy going. Cow, so that's pretty cool. it allows you to swap. I mean, I definitely wouldn't touch the end of it. It's still going to be hot. <laughs> um, I'm not telling you to do that. Touch but the, the plastic. plastic on, yeah, this is supposed to be okay. Uh, We'll open it up, show it right quick. That way everybody knows since I talked about it. But uh, And then I've got sales on my picks too, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they did another fire, uh, plier deal as well. So if you're into uh, the locking pliers, that's that may be something to ask your dealer about. I don't know how many they bought. Uh, so I don't know if they got the sale price or not, but they may have, so you might ask about it. I'm gonna get this out and not be able to put it back. Every time. That's all right. That just gives me an excuse to keep it. Just put it on display. So we talked about the little cutters last week. This would be a good deal to go with the cutters. Them little you're... cutters are awesome, by yeah, the way. They just, are. just in case you're wondering, they are awesome. <laughs> so I got another pair in. Uh, I, but so there's your soldering tip. You cut it on within within eight seconds. It's 1100 degrees, which is super. And this butane? No, this is wireless. Oh, this is this cordless. is electric. Okay, yeah, cool. I'm sorry, I, I'm saying wireless, but uh, somebody wants to talk this early in the morning. Uh, 
basically you twist it and take it off so when i say you can do it hot i don't mean reach up here and right. take, <laughs> take it off but it gives you plenty of room there because uh, even I, i've got fat hands so you know even if you were going to take it off like this you got plenty of room take it off put your uh it's going to be an open style here put your heat shrink style on there and then that allows you to actually uh do the heat shrink without scorching the other wires yeah. so if if you're old school and you're still using a lighter you know how the other wires get blackened because mm -hmm. you, the, you can't really control the flame i guess you if you're really really good at it you can control the flame but in tight spaces you can get up in there heat shrink it and i know on the one thing that on the power probe uh, soldering iron that I sell a bunch of the butane one. Mm -hmm. The only thing about it, you have to watch where that hole is on the side of yeah, it. Because it'll burn. It, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you don't watch where that hole is, yeah. you're fixing to burn something. And so this one, you don't have that problem. I mm -hmm. mean, you're there's no there's no flame coming out. So right. the tip gets 1100 degrees. This is 1100 degrees over here. You're fine. Uh, so I, I like that because. That other one will, will burn something up in a heartbeat if you're not watching it. Of course, it's got the sponge and everything in it as well to cool it down, um, the solder. And then it's got the, I, I like the way they're going to the USB style. Um, cause cords, almost everything cords. uses the same style. And I like that. Uh, Does that one come with a little nub in it to plug it in the wall? No. Uh, I don't know, that must be like the most expensive thing on earth for a company to source because Nobody, we, like nobody puts them in products and it drives me insane. So, like I told my wife, I said, from now on, if they don't include a nub, I'm fixing to send the shit back. Because <laughs> if you can't give me a nub to charge it with, so that's, that's crazy. I got to wondering the same thing and I haven't questioned it, but a lot of our lights have went to that way as well. But like you said, it was driving me nuts. Mm -hmm. But then I started buying stuff, you know, Walmart and everything else and they wasn't coming with the, the part and i'm like why are they not doing <laughs> can't stand it so man. the only thing that i can come up with is they know we've got them for our phones and everything else um but i, I think the main thing uh, is a lot of stuff's coming now built with a usb style charger cars mm -hmm. now has the usb style charger so you don't have to have that block uh toolboxes are coming with a usb style so you don't have to have that block that's the I'm not trying to defend the decision, but that's the only logical thing I can think like, of. Is, if it's that big a deal, they should add three dollars onto the price of it and put a nub in there. Yeah, I don't well. know. I, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm definitely not defending it at all. Because I've got like in my wall in there, I've got like three nubs plugged in, and there's a pile of cords in the floor, and I have picked, to dig through them to yeah. figure out which one goes with what. So uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's kind of funny. I I actually ordered one for a guy. I think it's still up here uh because it was a big deal to him so i actually ordered him a power nub a power nub to, for, <laughs> i found a product that had it <laughs> i ordered it uh i don't understand why that's I, such a big deal i don't know it was driving me crazy and then i went to walmart and started noticing other stuff was the same way and i was like well i guess this is just something i'll have to live with i don't know like i've never went to somebody's house and go man i've got so many power nubs laying around like i'm, I'm throwing away you need some power nubs well and that's the and thing everybody's yeah. always the same way as me it's like man if i could find one of them nubs i'd charge this yeah <laughs> i uh i have never um never heard that that i've had too many in fact we have a drawer full of chargers and we're always trying to find the power the, and see uh Android was bad about when they had the white one. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody knows if you had a, a Samsung, it had a white. That thing would go out like randomly. So we've got probably four white ones that went bad, and we're having to find a good one to charge yeah. our phone with, and that just drives me crazy. But yeah, that drives me nuts with them nubs, cause like I can go in there right now, and I've got plenty of cables to everything, and I struggle finding something to plug it into. Yeah. So the last thing we'll, we'll I'll as far as tools everybody likes tool talk i'm gonna show the plier sets too just so okay. i'll figure out which way to go in a minute let's see we got some toolboxes uh actually at the dock i'm hoping to have them by next week if i can take some time to go down there and get them did you get some six s's this time i do got i've got uh two six s's coming in but i also uh for whatever reason decided to order two more 
boxes just so I'd have them. So, uh, what did you think about the millionth box? Oh, I love it. That's cool, ain't it? Uh, I love it. Like it's smoking a bandit. Yeah, it's got that color. gold. It looks great. Um, I was gonna try to bid on it, but uh, not no more. <laughs> Uh, it, it's popular. Let's just say that the bid is. Man, mine couldn't have been far off from the million. It had to have been in the nine hundred and ninety something thousands. It, there's no way. I, I don't. There's no way it could have been far away. Yeah. Because uh, it's right there at it. So this is actually kind of cool. It actually comes with a free beanie. Uh, it comes with a bag, but then it's got the. I'll find my knife here, man. The Mako locking pliers with the fluorescent handles on them. Mm -hmm. So I like how easy that that was. Then, have yeah. you ever had the ones that where you sit there and, and you really they're just as hard? Put on yeah, them. they're just as hard. They're to harder to unlock than they are to lock. Yeah, yeah, I really like the way the ease of the unlock works there. So I like these. Well, Matco's has got to be better than the Snap-on versions because them is about the most pitiful excuse of a pair of locking pliers I ever seen. Funny story, when Hamilton first came up here, he hadn't been coming in about three or four weeks. And he was walking in the shop, and he picked up a pair of those snap-on vice grips in the parking lot. He came walking in with them in his hand. He's like, you lost these? Left them out in the parking lot. I said, no, that's where I threw them. Like, that's where they can stay. I said, actually, you can take them and put them back on your truck if you want to and sell them to some other sucker because they suck. <laughs> <laughs> and he has never carried them on his truck since then. Like, that was that was the end of their... Well, and anybody that says that that uh, no tump, no uh, all tool companies or no co tool companies have junk, that's crazy because um, there's product that I won't carry on my truck. Um mm -hmm. I don't know if it's like like him that he just discovered it out of the blue or yeah. After that, he replaced them with just the regular vice grip brand pliers because yeah. he said I went home and got to playing with them and you're right, they're terrible. They suck. So and that's the main thing that I think that I do the same thing as him. If I see that a product is not holding up like it's supposed to, mm -hmm. I'm just not gonna put it back on my truck. That's not because you know I, I'm not happy. I'm not happy with a brand. It's mainly because the when people buy tools from me, I'm not only selling them Maco, I'm selling them my service and my trust. And if if they can't trust the product, they can't trust me. So, yeah. uh, in fact, uh, we had a product this week that out of the blue we realized wasn't as good as what we thought it was, and I'm not going to put it on the truck anymore. So, mm -hmm. um, I'll do my part and I'll send the review up to Maco and let them know why I don't think it. And and normally that it, they do away with it they they listen really well i mean look at the blue ratchets yeah i don't have any but uh waiting on them those were a lot more popular than what some people thought they would be so That's but true. there's kind of the lineup on the pliers so if you're looking for them i know if you're ocd you're like me you're trying to figure out why i just put them in just such a weird order but <laughs> i'm just gonna throw them in a bag in a minute so uh just kind of showing what's nice. this. yeah what, uh, what do those run for that set let her look it up now. I just went Because these things right here are worth their weight in gold. So what do you use them the most for? I use them for welding and, and it's not like like for um, trailer landing braces, landing yeah. gear braces. But my favorite thing is, you know, everybody that's got trailers has got that wire mesh floor in it, yep. the expanded metal. Nothing holds that better than those right there. So welding is pretty much the, I think, only thing these I've ever seen these used for. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, the people, people that do a whole lot of welding, they buy these usually no clear. Or I'll use me them much on the are. table, like I'll clamp stuff to yeah. the table and grind, you know, and use them. So this uh, this set runs normally around two hundred dollars. Um, I have it on sale. I don't. I don't really want to say my sales price because I, I did a lot to get my prices to where they was. So yeah. everybody's strategy is different. But yeah, they usually run around two hundred bucks. I I'm pretty sure these were limited quantities. So your dealer may have got some, may or not. Uh, it all depends on when the meeting was held. And well, if it's a good deal, I'll buy a set of them. <laughs> he says it's a good deal. Uh, I think it is. I, I'll. 
I'm, well, I've kind of got down to where my regular vice grips have got so much welding slag and stuff yeah. that's been burned on them. And like, well, and that happens. They catch vice grips always get the worst of the jobs too. Like well, they're the they're the abused stepchild of the pliers, is what they are. I had some I had some uh, locking pliers like this. Uh, for whatever reason, I fall back to saying vice grips. I know they're that that's a brand, but. I had the the Mako style, and one day I was doing some work on it at, at, on a truck, and a bolt was spinning, and I went and got my vice grips, and it was working, but it wasn't, and I, I was like, man, these pliers are junk, and the tech next to me, he's like, when do you use those pliers? And I was like, well, I don't know, uh, very, very, very rare. He goes, exactly, every time you grab those pliers, it's a job that some other plier has let you down. That's why you need a good set. And he said, so more than likely it's not the pliers, it's the fact that you used the other set to the point <laughs> to that they had nothing up. to hold. <laughs> so I, I thought about that and I was like, okay, well this is a common problem on this truck. So the next time a, the, a vehicle come in, I used the, the Mako style first, no problem. It went with a breeze and he's like, told you. I was yep. like, Okay, so the, it, the, makes sense. it wasn't the pliers, yeah. it was my fault. You know, I'd use every other plier in my drawer. It would get so bad that they just had no chance, and I was mm -hmm. judging them off of that. But, you know, so well, that I is mean, what it is. I, so how many total pieces is it? Nine. It's nine. Yeah. Um, well, uh, I think it's nine pliers plus the bag plus the, the beanie. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Okay. Well, I'll turn the camera off, and that way we can figure <laughs> out the price. Yeah, I just, so. But all right, guys. Well, that's gonna be all the video. Y'all will just have to stay in suspense on the the price of the pliers. Deal with your dealer. See what their sales price talk is. Talk to your dealer. Yeah, just <laughs> tell your dealer you need a double top secret. We can't tell nobody price. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Like always, thanks for watching. If you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Merchandise over here, cool tools and discount codes over here, and take your finger and click that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, it's that easy. You just press that button. Y'all have a great week, and we will catch y'all next time. See ya.